All right, guys. I uh, thought I would do a unboxing, I guess you could call it, of my score today. Just got home. Don't really know where to start. I've got to go through some of these and figure out what to do with everything. But, of course, my favorite. A little trim setter action going on here. And then we have another one of those. Then we have a V12 Duesenberg trim setter. F100 Ford trim setter. It's one of my favorites. Got a little Baja buggy there, dune buggy trim setter. Let's see here. Then we've got another one of my favorites, Bronco 2 trim setter. Got some pretty cool stuff in this lot. Let's see, there's six. I think there's one more trim setter. Here we go. Got a AMC Eagle trim setter. Pretty cool too. And we've got a White Water Demon. I've had a few people messaging me already asking me about these. Not sure yet what to do. This one here is kind of cool. Uh, this is actually Tyco carded, but the stomper that's in the package is actually a shopper version. It's a trendsetter Duesenberg from 86. So it's just another proof that Tyco, once they bought the company, went ahead and put their leftover Shaper stompers that they uh, purchased in the buyout in Tyco packaging. So even though it's Tyco, it's actually a Shaper. But it does come with the blocks and stuff like a Tyco, which is cool. I'd like to actually reproduce those because you rarely see them. A lot of the later Tycos didn't have them in the packaging. Uh, I don't have one laying here, but some of them will have the same bubble like it's supposed to have been there and they won't be in there. So that's our trend setters. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, peach tree. We've got a little peach tree bug there. Uh, we've got a nice, this is, yeah, it's a peach tree also, Bronco. Let's see here. We've got a peach tree dozer. Those are one of my favorites. I love the black and the yellow together. We've got a peach tree military. What else we got here? We've got another uh, peach tree bug. I'll probably be selling the doubles, of course. And we've got a Tenco Jeep. And another Tenco Jeep. Really cool. This one here I don't have, and I kind of like. It's got some cool graphics on there. A lot like the 80s video game logos, it seems like to me. But that's a Tenco. It's a Scotty. So that one's kind of cool. What else we got here? All right, we've got a rare uh, Dodge Value Line card. It's pretty cool. I don't have a space here. We've got a poncho carded value line. We've got a shaper. Um, well, it's a half track. I'm trying to hold it. The card's a little bent. Shaper half track carded. Pretty cool. And what else we got that's full sized here? Oh, we've got a nice little speedster. Uh, Mustang that's carded. Another one there that's kind of cool. All right. Next two are kind of something I've never really collected or got into much, but these Future Force uh, stompers, I've never really been into those, but they are kind of cool. They come with a little guy, and uh, they're kind of cool. I kind of like the coloring on the packaging, I can say that much. And this says 1985 on the back. So that's a carded Future Force. 
And then we have a Megastar, and I haven't had any of these either. It's kind of cool, you can raise it up and there's some information under there. Uh, very similar to the other one, and it comes with a little a little guy also. I think this is later, this may be, no, it's 85 also. So anyway, that's another one from 85. I'd say they were trying to, to me it looks like they're trying to cash in on kind of like the Transformers and all the other stuff like that that was going on at that time. That's what it kind of reminds me of anyway. All right, then we've got a um, a Shopper uh, Jeep uh, Mini. This is a motorized Mini. A lot of people don't know about these. Um, it seems like this was right before, well, this is 85 on there, but it wasn't long before they were selling out to Tyco that they came out with these. And uh, most people think they're a McDonald's stomper when they see them, but they're actually a motorized Mini. Oh, and here's a Gen, uh, Gen 1 green jeep we'll put that over here with the value lines got another shopper carded laying here this one here is a tyco and it has a tyco chassis i always kind of like this one it's a little scotty motorized mini pretty decent looking and this one was always a favorite too i guess i like them all it, that's what i'm starting to think but anyway there's a purple uh f100 Ford truck. Uh, it's a mini. This one came from, I can't tell what that store is, but it was uh, on sale for $3.47 before it finally sold. This is from ben Benjamin Franklin. A lot of these are from Benjamin Franklin. Um, I've seen a few of the trendsetters were from Walmart. Uh, another thing we have is a, a nice three pack and it's a pretty nice, pretty nice box, but somebody's put a piece of tape over the front. I might do some work on that. Shows this was $11.99 when it was new. I've got another one that's just like this for the most part, but unfortunately when someone takes over something that, uh, you know, it's there permanently. If you try to take it off, it'll be a mess. But anyway, that's still a valuable set just because it's a three pack you don't you don't see those too often so that concludes the carded stuff for now and we're going to go on into the loose stuff that i bought got a handy dandy coat out of the deal there's a full sled in there i've got quite a few of those so i may not need that one it may end up in a bingo or something before it's over all right, this don't look like much in here. Let me move some of these down. I can make some room here. All right, those are out of the way. Let's get into some of these loose. Yeah, I'll move these two. Get into some of these loose ones here and see what we've got. Some of the stuff I just quickly put it in the car or in the truck and we went and ate out and all that sort of thing. So just a quick look here. Uh, there's a Water Demon battery cover which are always gone. There's another one. So that would be handy. And a lot of tires, motors, stuff like that. There's a value line motor right there. You're pretty common. Pretty common stuff for the most part in that. Then we have some of the little more desirable stuff, uh, like this Dodge Ram with uh, with a winch. So that's kind of a, a nice little score there. Uh oh, there we go. And then we've got another purple Dodge. This has got the uh, super wide factory tires on it. And it's pretty nice. It's got the Dodge on the windshield, which I like. So there's two of those. Then we've got, what else do we have here? Another trendsetter. I'm gonna have to check mine out and see condition wise, but pretty nice little trendsetter there. And what do we got here? Man, another super fatty. This is uh, the white Datsun 
and it's in pretty nice shape and it's got some super wides on it also. I think that'll clean up pretty good. And we've got a pretty nice honcho. Not much to say about it other than it's nice. Condition wise, it looks pretty good. Some of these will be better than others. We've got another purple van. Pretty nice condition. I think I could do something with that. I've got I've got a couple now, so that may be on the chopping block before it's over. Why does that not fit in there? Got a number 88 Chevy Scotty. And of course, as usual, the 88s are kind of kind of crappy on the side, but that's part of it. I always check the names on the bottoms because some of these sometimes chassis get swapped, and if it's a DreamWorks or something like that then it's going to be a little more of a desirable chassis. We've got a, uh, a Nomad here, Gen 2. It's pretty good. For those who don't know, the Gen 2s have wide fender flares. Gen 1s don't. So that's one way to tell the difference. Another trendsetter. This one's pretty decent. It's on the wrong chassis. But it's a Toyota Tercel trendsetter. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to set these out in lots of five, just so I can kind of keep an idea of what I'm doing here. We've got us a, another Bronco, black, pretty nice rims and stuff. Got the surfboard on the roof. Got a pretty decent little Jeep here, not too bad a condition. It's got super wides on it. Got us another nice little Blazer. Shaper chassis, chopper, whichever way. This is the chassis from this one. This is a Tenco or a peach tree body. And this is a Tenco or a peach tree chassis. So I'm just going to swap that over to a correct uh, body here real quick. If I can get to go in. There it goes. Yeah, that's much better. It's got the right wheels on it now and stuff. Anyway, when you get into the hobby for a while, you get pickier on stuff like that. When you start out, you're like, I don't care as long as it runs. We've got a black uh, Cherokee here, Jeep. And it's got super wides on it, too. Used to hardly ever saw those. Here's another trendsetter. This one's loose, and it's on a military chassis got military rims on it. I'll keep an eye out for the correct chassis on that. Hey, I didn't even know this was in there. Hmm. Pretty nice looking little Rampage. Little Dodge, lime green. Pretty good shape. Then we've got a yellow Toyota. Now this one, I remember spending a lot of time trying to find one of these that still had Toyota on the doors. And now that I have one, they, I, I see them pop up occasionally with, with nice door logos on them, but another set of super fatties on it, too. Got a pretty decent looking little scrambler here. Nice side logos and stuff. Of course, front, front tab issues. This is common on this one. I don't know how many I find that the tabs messed up on it. And we've got a McDonald's. What collection isn't complete with? Now that one's on the wrong, it's on the wrong chassis also, but I'll swap that later. It's a little yellowed out. Then we've got a Stomper uh, Brat that it's come from a custom kit. When they're in the custom kit, they don't have any tampos at all, and kids had to put them together, so typically their parts are loose or the motors fall off, stuff like that. Uh, some simple gluing. Can fix that problem. So, so far we've got 5, 10, 15, 20. We've got a Gen 1 uh, Dodge Ram here. Move these forward a little bit more. Take some space. So, you know, let's just over there. We've got a yellow Brat. Those are kind of tough to find, and the Brats on the doors are pretty decent on this one. 
So it's got a little bit of scratching in the black up here. A guy might be able to do a little touch up to the black on the hood to make it uh, look a little nicer. It has the Subaru windshield that's got a little scratch through the, uh, through the U on it. But I won't complain on that one. Got a, <coughs> excuse me, decent little dots in here with the number 15 on the door. It's kind of tough to find with the side tampos on that one also. I'm gonna go ahead and go to put these out here like this. Nice little Ranger on the, looks like the correct chassis and everything. Still got the Ranger logos on the doors, which is again, kind of a rare, a rare thing. We've got another trendsetter here, Toyota Tercel. Pretty nice condition overall. Got a uh, little Chevy Love, and this is the splash effect or whatever on it. One side's blank. I've been tempted to just go all black on one of those. I thought it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, that's a Tenco or a peach tree. Uh, I can't remember which. Here's another Ford Ranger missing the rear bumper. For some reason, when I see these, they are usually missing the rear bumper for some reason. But otherwise, it looks like a near mint condition body. And the next one is a Sheriff's Jeep. Number 25 Sheriff's Jeep. Still has the stars on the door, so that's good. Still says Sheriff on that side. I can still see Sheriff on both sides, actually. So that's not too bad. And we've got a another Ranger. Man, it's pretty good. Oh, it's got a little tab issue on the front. So put that body to the side. And now we've got a number 14 Bug on a Water Demon chassis for some reason. Not sure what they were trying to do there, but that's not the right chassis. Many of you will, will know uh, the Water Demon has a thinner rear tab and it usually has a little, and uh, the uh, four by four usually has a little notch that these don't have. So they will interchange, but I'm betting that this is the body that went on this. Pretty nice looking body too. But that slips right up in there. Makes a water demon. And then we've got another water demon here. It's a yellow one. I don't know if it's missing a gear or what. I'll pull with that later. The water demons over here. And here's something that's kind of nice to come up with occasionally. Nice little three-wheeler on a trailer. At one time, these were bringing almost $200 or so just for that three-wheeler. It's crazy. We'll just set that right there. Then we got a little weed wagon. I call it the weed wagon because uh, shoppers ad showed it full of brush and weeds and stuff like that. So there's other meanings for the word. And then we've got a pretty decent little Mac here. Nice, nice chrome grill, man. That's probably the best one I've seen. Side switch. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got a little bag of miscellaneous uh, gears and other pieces like that. That's everything out of the uh, tackle box anyway, other than the, the parts. There's the tab for the water demon. There's a key, extra chassis here. This may be another custom kit chassis, I'm not real sure. Well, got a few goodies there. I don't know what this rear bumper come off of. Let's try this Ford here. Wow, there you go. Bumper. That's handy. Anyway, you got a nice little number 14 bug there with pretty decent chrome. Put that over there. That is about everything that I got today. And, oh, I forgot these. There is some more. That's some military stuff. 
pretty decent shape. It's kind of funny. It must be a different, uh, a different company, or I mean, a different uh, manufacturing facility that made the chassis on the military because they're always kind of shiny compared to the other four by fours. And the low and high is in a different font. And it says, yeah, those say Taiwan, and these say Hong Kong. I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference, but kind of an interesting little fact there. That one's the same way, military. I kind of like the little Jeeps. Those are cool. Got a, uh, now this is a this is a regular chassis. So this is what was it earlier? I found oh this this trendsetter was on a military chassis. Now I found a military truck that was on a regular chassis. So I'm just going to swap those. I'm calling that being more correct. So I'll go here. Then we've got a military water demon. And last but not least, decent little tank. I have to try all these and see if I can get them to work. Here's the uh, attachment for the pull sled. Doesn't look like it's broke or anything. That's unusual. A little bit of tire melt here on the side of the, uh, the weight box. But otherwise looks pretty good. So I think that's pretty much everything uh, in the unboxing for now. I'm going to go through a lot of this stuff. Some of this stuff will be doubles and I will obviously uh, let go of some of my doubles and some of it may be an upgrade or whatever but whenever I get ready some of the stuff will probably end up on on the group the stuff I don't keep um, the stuff I do keep obviously will stay here in the Stomper Museum but uh, anyway keep your eye out if you're looking for anything uh, maybe some stuff coming your way shortly until then Stomper on <laughs>